Tomorrow, we have an opportunity to put an end to a presidency that's divided this nation. Tomorrow, we can put an end to a president that has failed to protect this nation. And tomorrow, we can put an end to a president that has fanned the flames of hate all across this country. Millions of Americans have already voted. Almost 100 million have voted so far. 100 million voted already. And more are going to vote today. And my message is simple. The power to change the country is in your hands. I don't care how much Donald Trump tries. There's nothing, nothing he's going to do to stop the people in this nation from voting. Presidents don't determine who gets to vote. Voters determine who's going to be the president. And when American votes, America will be heard. And when America's heard, I believe the message is going to be loud and clear. It's time for Donald Trump to pack his bags and go home. We wouldn't have 9 million confirmed COVID cases in this nation. We wouldn't have over 230,000 deaths. We wouldn't be seeing those new record numbers of cases we're seeing every single day right now. Nearly 100,000 cases in one day, just two days ago. Think of this now. The President of the United States of America was responsible for so many deaths. He had the goal to suggest that American doctors, the people who have been on the front lines of this crisis for nine months, along with nurses and so many others, many of whom have died, to suggest that doctors are falsely inflating deaths due to COVID because they want to make more money. I'm serious, man. This guy's a disgrace. And last night, Trump said he was going to fire Dr. Fauci. Isn't that wonderful? I got a better idea. Elect me, and I'm going to hire Dr. Fauci. Not, and we're going to fire Donald Trump. You know, Donald Trump is going to be the first president in 90 years. That's a lot of presidents. In 90 years, who's going to finish his four years in office with fewer jobs than when he got elected to office. Folks, it's time to stand up. It's time to take back our democracy. We can do this. We're so much better than this. We can be our best. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the United States of America. There's not a damn thing we can't do. Nothing. So let's get up and do it.